Yeah, y'all know this, your boy King Lucky Money Real Reaction Videos. Let's get into something real. As you see from the thumbnail, as you can see from the photos behind me of all these deceased rappers, and this is only a few. This is only, I got tired of searching them. It was so many, it was to the point to where I could just. I didn't really know who all to put on here. It's just black men. All these black men that you see on these pictures behind me all have two things in common for sure. Three things in common for sure that I'm just going to highlight. Music, one. Two, they're all black. And three, They all died from gun violence. Before we go any further, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you um, hit the post notification bell. Um, that way you guys can be tapped in with me at all times. All right, so. Videos like this, please share this video because things like this need to be talked about. It need to be put at, it need to be put out at a high clip. It need to be put out. This has to be, this is a message. Casualties of rap. Jam Master J was shot and unalived at a studio in New York City. The, the, the person and persons that was responsible for that If I'm not mistaken Was just captured I want to say either the early part of this year Or ending of last year If I'm not mistaken If you're watching this video Please get in the comment and correct me for that Mo3 Was unalived on the freeway in Dallas, Texas After an alleged baby daddy was jealous of him for seeing his baby mama. Allegedly, allegedly so far, the, the case is still unresolved. Young Dolph was unalived in, in a Memphis cookie store um, due to a hit that was put on him by another Memphis music uh, personnel and Big Juke sent two assailants to unalive him on that fateful day. PMB Rock at the time of this footage that you're seeing now footage from his Unaliving at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in California with him, where he and his girlfriend uh, accompanied together to enjoy some food. In which a man was in there once they arrived and saw him with his jewelry on, called his son to set up a play to rob PNB Rock for his jewelry, but Seemed like they just wanted to take his life and they took his jury. Pop Smoke was robbed and unalived in a home invasion in California. Mm -hmm. One fateful day, it was they had already planned it. And out of I wanna say six to eight people that was in the home at the time of Pop Smoke's unaliving. Mm -hmm. Six to eight people there. He was the only one that was unalive. Soldier Slim was unalive the day before Thanksgiving in front of his mom's home in New Orleans by an unknown assailant, street guy, for unknown reasons. Met his demise. In his mother's front yard during the holidays. King Vaughn, Chicago rapper, 
that was had ties to the streets as well, but was unalived after a um, concert he, he had just recently performed and showed up at another at another night club where he and some other guys that he had some street situations with in which King Vaughn wanted to throw the paws but he was met with gunfire in which he too lost his life on that faithful night in 2020. Notorious Big had just attended his album release party at the Peterson Peterson or Patterson's um, uh, event place where a few months after the late Tupac Shakur he's in California this is like six months after he was you know unalived himself Notorious Big was at this uh, album release party where when they were leaving he pulled when they left the venue due to um, fire marshals closing stopping the event he made one he made it to one light in which a vehicle pulled up pulled up on Notorious Big side and fired multiple shots in there he was hit a couple times he too didn't make it this was 1997 March 1997 Jada Youngin a Louisiana artist he had several street ties himself a lot of street altercations with other individuals said individuals which he was incarcerated for some things that he had got caught up for and soon after he was released he was in his front porch with his father and a vehicle pulled up with two to four men jumped out with automatic weapons and on a live J.D. Youngin on his front porch in front of his father. This was in 2023, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 2023, if I'm not mistaken. Or 2022, 2023. One of the two, though. Slim 400 was unalive as he sat in the Dodge Challenger seemed like he was listening to some music or maybe just sharing the thought to himself Looked seemed like to be like around 8 30 9 o'clock at night it was him out there sitting in the car by himself on the video you could see from the ring camera an individual pulled up in the car jumped out of his car walked up to slam slam never saw the guy until the guy got all the way up to his door the guy was armed with a semi-automatic rifle grabbed slim th slim 400 by his shirt and proceeded to shoot him down in the front yard dragging him across the yard and he shot him at the same time slim 400 also was unalive from this situation. Takashi 69, I'm sorry. XXX Tentacion was was on video seen at a pawn shop. Was on XXX Tentacion was seen at a pawn shop purchasing a motorcycle which he had just left the bank where he uh, uh, took out fifty thousand dollars to purchase the motorcycle, and as he was, and, and uh, once you look at the video, you can see X inside the video uh, interested in his motorcycle, which he was talking to the people, and you can see these other guys in there watching him as he was. They recognized who he was, so they waited for him to come outside. As X left the pawn shop him and his uncle he pulled out the driveway of the actual pawn shop where he was met with a van which blocked his 
C8 Corvette. My bad. BMW i8. He was in BMW i8. And they both, each gunman went to each side of the vehicle. One guy recognized X, X had this bag on him. He reached inside the, the truck, the, the car to take the bag from him. X refused to give him his bag. The guy shot him multiple times, expiring XXX on the scene. FBG Duck was in the Gulf Coast, in the Gold Coast in Chicago, a popular shopping area in Chicago where he was noticed by an old block member that was inside of another store, which he, FBG Duck never saw him. This guy then phoned, called eight of his eight OTF members, which have, have been caught so far. And they also tracked FBG Duck all the way down to the Gold Coast where they found him outside walking and they all jumped from the vehicles shooting him down, shooting him multiple times. FBG Duck also didn't survive. Um, Takeoff. Popular Migos rapper out of Atlanta was in Houston, uh, accompanied by a few other rappers, um, Rap a Lot Records, um, uh, Mob Ties, and Migos was having the Halloween event, which it was Jazz Prince's birthday. And on video, you can see there was some type of altercation with Quavo and a couple Houston. Um, artists over a dice game that they had just recently had then out of nowhere gunfire erupts hitting takeoff in his head takeoff didn't survive either Julio Fulio out of Jacksonville Florida was unalived a few months ago this year after celebrating his birthday which he also had a lot of street ties that was publicly known through the internet through the diss songs you know the diss records the diss tweets the whole nine Julio Fulio was celebrating his birthday with a host of people probably 20 people um, the Airbnb was shut down then they had to move to another location where they would trail by two carloads of individuals that, tra that traveled from Tampa to track him down. Julio Fulio was sitting in the car with two of his friends when they were met with gunfire. Julio Fulio took three, four bullets up close range. Julio Fulio did not survive. Nipsey Hussle, LA rapper, street guy, smart guy, educated, entrepreneur, marathon store, marathon clothing, the marathon continues, was nominated for a Grammy for his album that he had just released called The Marathon Continues had street ties and he had street beefs in which Nipsey Hussle was sitting outside of his own convenience store, his own flagship store, accompanied by a few of his friends in which we all know now, Eric Holder, a, a, a member, another member of the Rolling 60s neighborhood Crip gang approached Nipsey Hussle and no one would probably never know the, um, the extent of their conversation. As you can see from the video, they all shook hands as Eric Holder left from the scene, got in the car, drove to the back of the very building which Nipsey owned, got out of the car, put on the red shirt, and walked back around there and confronted Nipsey with two handguns and shot him 11 times point blank range. 
Nipsey also did not survive. This is only a few people that I added to this list. This is only a few. There's way more people. There's way more people. I'm just doing this for the music game. There's way more black men that has been unalived from the casualties of either street beefs or rap beefs or both. The whole purpose of me doing this video is just to show awareness. Somebody wake up. Somebody do something different. Somebody make a better decision. If you have an entourage, you have a friend, you have a brother, you have a son. If you notice your son or your nephew is involved in any type of street activity. Or if he's thought about being in, in any type of street activity. Stop him. Talk to him. Talk him out of it. You know what I mean? At the taping of this video, please don't have your nephew, your uncle, your brother be added to this list. Added to this list. All right? Let in the comments. Get into the comments. Want to hear what you got to say? Let me know what you think about this video. All right. It's your boy King. Lucky Money. Real reaction video. See you guys in the next video. Yeah.